You might think there is nothing worse than demons, but these creatures might change your mind. These twisted cryptids and giants have so much power for destruction and seem to have no sympathy for humanity. They are truly terrifying to think of. Which one scares you the most? Coming in at number 5 we have Cartoon Cat. Cartoon Cat is one of the most well known cryptids. Cartoon Cat is a tall cartoon like black feline creature. It has a slender body with white beady eyes. He wears white gloves similar to that of Mickey Mouse. His teeth are sharp and he often snarls at those he meets. His teeth appear to be bloodstained. Another disturbing feature to the creature are his feet, or rather the fact he doesn't have any at all. Instead of having feet, he has footless sharp legs. They are like two sharp points that scratch on the floor as he walks. Cartoon Cat can change his size as he pleases, but the tallest he has ever reached is that of a two story building. We know that he knows his actions are horrific, but he commits them anyway. He is intelligent and knows what his actions mean. This leads people to believe he is truly an evil being. Not only is he evil, but he has a lot of powers making him dangerous. He is a shapeshifter, meaning he can extend and warp his body. He can also be in multiple places at one time. His powers making him near impossible to capture or destroy. He can warp between dimensions. He can also use this to warp his enemy's reality. He doesn't obey traditional laws of life. He can make his body malleable, making him able to get through any space. There is no way to hide from him. Due to this, he is feared even among the other monsters. Trevor Henderson himself has even explained that Cartoon Cat is the most dangerous creature in his collection. Cartoon Cat's goal or motive is to kidnap his victims. There is usually no way for them to escape or evade him. He can trap them in alternate dimensions, where there is no one to help and nowhere to run. Once you have been captured by him, he will commit unspeakable atrocities, all ending in him consuming his victim. Coming in at number 4, we have Behemoth. The Behemoth is an enormous creature, is the largest of all the giants. It's unknown just how large the creature is, as only a fraction of it has ever been seen. It has some unique abilities that the other giants do not, making it the most famous. The one time that the Behemoth was captured on camera, you can see how truly giant it really is. Only the head of the creature is visible, but it is already as tall as the entire mountain. It appears the creature is covered in pale white scales, some of which look damaged. It is believed the creature may have been captured. It might have been stored under the mountain to keep everyone safe from its abilities. Given its size, it is likely the creature was able to break free and find its way to the surface. People have compared the giant's features to that of an iguana. This could mean the giant was created due to experiments or natural exposure to something that altered its DNA. Some believe the creature is from another dimension. His kind somehow figured out how to break through the barrier to our world and invade it. Some say that Behemoth is the ruler of the giants, acting like a god figure to them. This makes him more dangerous as he can not only cause great destruction, but has an army of giants who follows his command. Due to his enormous size, the behemoth is destructive even when docile. He has the ability to crush an entire city with ease. Monsters this size can also cause huge earthquakes on a 12 point scale. This is enough to bring down even large mountains. The creature is able to travel undetected as it can burrow underground. It's believed they create a tunnel system underground so that they can move around as they please. When the creature wants to inflict damage on those around it, it will let out its roar. This causes massive sonic damage, deafening anyone who hears it. Coming in at number 3 we have Misty Guest 1. There are 3 Misty Guests that have appeared so far, each one terrifying in size. But we are going to be looking at Misty Guest 1, also known as the Web Kraken. It can be explained as a spider or octopus like creature. It is over 177 feet tall. It towers over everything. We can see that its body is blood red. It has long legs, much like a spider that no one has ever seen the end of. It appears only in the mist as to not be identified from far off distance. It is assumed due to its enormous size that the web kraken is a giant, although unlike the previous, it is not intelligent. It seems to just roam, causing destruction in its path with no reasoning. Given its name the web kraken, you might have guessed it likes to create spider-like webs for humans to wander into. Once you are caught in its web, it deems if you are worthy. Very Thor-like. If you are not worthy to ascend, it will consume you whole. It can easily devour humans or even large vehicles whole. The creature does have a weakness. Much like spiders, it 
fears fire. This destroys its webs. If you could create a fire big enough, the kraken would flee in fear. However, no one has ever seen one of these creatures perish. So you can save yourself, but you may not be able to stop them permanently. Don't underestimate the creature. Although it is giant in size, it can move at high speeds. It will sometimes freeze when noticed, but once you let your guard down, it can take a hold of you before you even notice it has moved. Coming in at number two, we have upside down face. The man with the upside down face could easily be mistaken for a demon. He is a dangerous cryptid who can cause disasters or influence people's actions. His appearance is that of an adult man, with his head turned completely upside down. He is always seen with an eerie smile. His eyes are pitch black like black holes. He has been pictured wearing a black suit with a white shirt and tie. He seems to appear formal. This could be a disguise to try not stand out in a crowd. The origin of the cryptid is unknown, but due to his first sightings being in Budapest, many believe he is from Hungary. His first appearance was in the 1910s. He was spotted around the world between then and the 1960s. Since then, his appearances seem to have stopped. Some believe he has disappeared for good, but there is no way to truly know this. While he was active, he was given the nickname the Patron Saint of Car Wrecks, as well as natural disasters, misery. He is always seen near disastrous events, mostly near car crashes, but sometimes he is drawn to general misery and suffering. This could explain why he was most active during the time of both world wars. He feeds off of the suffering of humankind. There were plenty of that for him to feed off during the war. When there is not enough suffering from him to feed off, he will create misery. He will cause crashes. Some believe he can even create plagues to cause mass suffering. Of course, anyone would notice someone walking around with an upside down face. It is believed his true form is only captured in photographs. You would not notice it at the time, but once the photo develops, you will be horrified to see him hidden within the image. He has been captured on film a number of times now, but no one at the scene saw him at the time. He has also been known to kidnap large groups of people. A whole town can suddenly disappear into thin air like they were never there. It is unclear how he is able to do this or what he does with his victims, but they are never seen again and no evidence of what happened to them is ever found. And finally, in at number one, we have Siren Head. Siren Head is both a creation of Trevor Henderson and an urban legend. He gained a lot of attention in recent years for being a terrifying villain. He is a 40 foot tall humanoid creature. He has a skeletal frame, body covered in dried flesh. Where the head of a skeleton should be, he has a number of sirens. He can also reform them to look like a street light. Inside the sirens appear to be the creature's mouth. It both creates sound from these sirens and also consumes its victims. His speakers can create various types of loud noises, including voices. It can mimic perfectly human voices from its previous victims. It will often use this to pick off a member of a group and then use that voice to lure others into its trap. It's typically known to make an air raid siren noise as well as an emergency broadcast to try and disorientate its victims. Siren Head can travel at high speeds and is very intelligent when it comes to avoiding capture and fighting off any attackers who might try to contain him. He will mostly use stealth to lure people alone so he can attack without causing others to be aware of his presence. Some also believe he is capable of dimensional travel and can disappear as and when he needs to. Siren Head is not a being from our reality. Some say he is not limited by our laws of nature. He can change manifestation appearing different in each victim's view of him. It is not known how Siren Head came to be. Some think he was an experiment gone wrong and others believe he has come from a different world. Some theories say he is an all powerful, all knowing being who is unstoppable in our world. He is a very aggressive monstrous creature. It understands humans but shows no sympathy to their cries for mercy. Siren Head seems to be developing and learning how to create the most destruction with his powers. One of the latest sightings and reportings of Siren Head describes the aftermath of him taking out an entire town. In a never before seen tactic from the creature, he burst the eardrums of everyone in the town, causing mass casualties. He left all of the residents behind, meaning he is no longer consuming his victims. This change in behavior is disturbing as no one knows just how much he is capable of. Well, there we have it. I will see you in the next video.